lot of human rights violations going on in Ethiopia as we speak. Mala is, is uh, involved in mass killings of Oromo students. There's a lot of political leaders that are being imprisoned. Even even people that are claimed to be Oromos that have nothing to do with political involvement. They get imprisoned. They, their families die just because of the fact that they're Oromo. That the public doesn't uh, really comprehend what's going on and so there are very few consequences in the United States for supporting um, uh, governments that, that violate human rights in other countries as long as the argument can be made that those governments are providing the greatest amount of security for the Americans. We, we had uh, party members, cadres in the countryside who were beating people uh, for example, taking out the whole village, the whole village, maybe about 5,000 people, and uh, have them sit down in the sun for five days, in the cold for five days, uh, accusing them of hiding the OLF people, an incident where a cadre went into a prison and killed uh, somebody, accusing him of being a member of the OLF. More than 25,000 people were sitting in prison for five, six years, and this was a this was, uh, violation of human rights. Amnesty for, for, to about 1,000 people, but the rest, we don't know where they are. Number one is awareness to make sure that the, you know, the peace-loving American citizens need to know that you know, this country, which is the Ethiopian ruling government, is a government that terrorizes their own people, and we should not be allied with them. To be accountable for the crimes I committed individually or collectively.